Have you had the season as challenging as last year's game? Say it again. Have you had a season as challenging as last year's game? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, they're, they're all different. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess you, you were alluding to the adversity and, and, and they're not as successful as we would have liked to be. Yeah, we've had those before. Maybe not at BC, but uh, been around them before. What are you doing to avoid the type of start you had last season? Uh, building on the way we ended, and, uh, uh, solidifying a few of the things, trying to uh, uh, manage the uh, the problems that we had a little bit better than we managed them last year. And, and a lot of the situation uh, will be better just because of time and experience and, and a better understanding. What are some of the specific problems that you had or constellations? Well, we had, you know, I, I hate to deal with the problems because it sounds like excuses, but, you know, we had injuries, we had coaching changes, we had uh, uh, a young team, uh, you know. <coughs> We had the perfect storm in, in a lot of areas, and, uh, and still we weren't that far away. And then uh, we still had the, the right attitude, and we still got better at the end of the year. So there's a lot of positive things underneath there. I mean, it's not uh, as obvious to the uh, Twitters and the fans and the, and the bloggers and things along those lines, but uh, there's a lot of stuff to be excited about you know, and, and enthusiastic, you know. Enthusiasm is contagious. You know, and lack of enthusiasm is just as contagious. We're enthusiastic. I heard you on the radio this morning. You said you were uh, enthusiastic about uh, Pittsburgh and Syracuse the coming on. Yeah, it was like it's like uh, uh, dancing with wolves. Kevin Costner in the outpost. You know that was us. You know, and now we have some other Indians putting up tents over there. Friendly Indians that we've known, you know, yeah. they're 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 old they're old friends, and it's, I think it's good for our fan base. It's uh, it's good for us, and uh, you know, the rivalries. I mean, we've always had good games, and they're, they're, they're well-respected athletic programs, and football, and others, and that they're, they're uh, academic institutions. We have a lot in common, and. Uh, It'll be great for us, I think. It'll be great for the ACC. Hopefully, it'll play out that way. Can you have them do something about upgrading the carrier dome? <laughs> when I get to that point that I can have something to say at Syracuse's carrier dome, I'll, I'll know I've made it. Right? Oh, yeah. I think they're going to do something with it, huh? What's their What's their last season at uh, in the Big East going to be like? Because I know when you folks decided to come over to ACC, they were kind of that last season. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it'll be like that. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of other uh, extraneous circumstances that uh, that lent itself. You know, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what it was, uh, but there was a, there was a, there was a different attitude. I don't know if they're going to experience that, and I hope they don't. Right. Well, it's not the same Big East that when you guys left. Right, I, I think there was a little bit more tradition, you know, it's whatever. I'm talk to this guy, he's <laughs> One of the things that was missing last year wasn't the other one, was the senior leadership. Do, do you see more of it, that, even in the early days this year, do you see that being established? Yeah, we have more of them around, you know, uh, and, and more people that have been in the program, you know, the, there's that one class that there was, you know, 30 guys came in. There was only 10 around. Uh, you know, there's more people familiar with how we want to do it the BC way and what to do, and, and that disjointed uh, thinking is sort of filtered its way through. How important is that on the to have to have that? Well, you know, seniors and senior leadership is. Uh, can't place enough importance on it. And, uh, I think you know. I feel attitude. You, know, you got to be physically gifted enough to play and win, and you have to be able to, you know, coach them and understand what you're doing. But uh, a lot of it's between the years. A lot of it's between the years.
What's the one thing you see in Chase this year that, that you think will make him make the next step up? And, uh, get, which is which is the point where last year he stayed in neutral. I mean, yeah, maturation. Uh, I, I think he's has been getting better. He's been improving. Uh, but uh, you know, as I've said before and alluded, uh, there's been uh, you know, situations that weren't quite his fault that uh, sort of retarded his progress and made him look like he was treading water. And uh, I, th I think we've got those. You know, not I think we, we need to have those solved, and I think we do have them solved. And then we'll move forward because we need him to play well in order to be successful. I just got here, so I'm, I'm sure you were asked, but I didn't hear what right. your response was. Your reaction to what happened this morning with Penn State? It's a, it's a tragedy on a lot of levels. Uh, what I said was, you know, first and foremost, it's, the, it's still about the victims and the crime. And uh, that shouldn't be put to the back burner for anything else. But there are a lot of other tragedies on a lot of levels. Only time's going to tell how that's going to play. Did the NCAA send a message about to everybody about how powerful cultures can be in college communities, and that maybe people need to sort of look for a little bit more balance? Well, that's a whole course level, you know, to go into the, the uh, effects of culture on uh, the nature of what happened. I think the nature of uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, you know, once again, I, you know, I have my thoughts on it, but the, you know, the NCAA certainly uh, sent a message. What that is. Uh, are, sure. you, are you open to considering any Penn State transfers? The that situation, uh, uh, as I said before, you got here is, is fluid and uh, ongoing and, and, and happening as we sit. And, uh, we're open to whatever the rules are uh, and how the game is being played. Being in private but school, we have. Are you guys in the quarter system at Boston or are you uh, still in the semester? Semester. But okay. We have been in private school. How difficult is it to bring in transfers? Well, once again, you know, uh, <laughs> I've been at Boston College 16 years for uh, what I think are all the right reasons. I like the way our schools run. Uh, I like the culture that we're in. I like how it's uh, set forth. I understand the rules. I understand, uh, pretty clear about what has to be done and what doesn't have to be done. And uh, I think it's for those people too to digest that situation and how they want to approach with it. As a coach, selfishly, oh yeah, the more players the better, right? I mean, the more good players, the better off you are. But. Uh, yeah. They, they probably have some players that you need to express an interest in. Well, we, it's a recruiting area, okay. sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we have uh, we know a lot about some of them. We recruit them, and obviously didn't get them. But uh, once again, the, there are some other factors involved to it other than just you know wanting them, and thinking that they'll help you. Your thoughts on Syracuse coming in next year, getting that waiver to join next year and start playing. Yeah, I think it's good. You got a, you good. have a neighbor up there now. Yeah, way. yeah, yeah. We got, uh, <laughs> got some more neighborhood. You're going to rekindle a little old flame, too. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to get sidewalks and streets. And <laughs> but no Chick-fil-A. Yeah, no Chick-fil-A. That's right. No, there is one place up there in, uh, in the Northeast. Yeah, the Boston mayor came out saying there, there will not be any Chick-fil-A in Boston. Only in the city. Only in the city? Yeah. Okay. There's one of Berlin. Because of yeah, I knew there was because yeah. I checked. I, I checked on the internet somewhere. Like yeah. Why, why aren't we having any? Why isn't Mayor Menino having? Because they're claiming Chick Fil A does not support gay rights. Oh yeah, yeah, here goes the Sarah, right? So, yeah. You may not be able to play in the Chick Fil A ball. See how complicated <laughs> life is. And, right? All for right. chicken sandwich. <laughs> well, let me say this: we get invited to the Chick Fil A. <laughs> that'll be a good problem for us to have. <laughs> Yeah, I love the story. The mayor won't go. <laughs> He'll bet them something else. I know the other team can bet him a, 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 a Chick-fil-A dinner. There yeah, you go. Yeah, right, whatever.